everyone, my name is Ann Powers with Rumpke Recycling. I am the commercial recycling specialist. My job at Rumpke is to feed the recycling plant. It's very hungry and it needs to be fed lots of recyclables. So I meet with companies and we sit down and we learn about the company's recycling goals. Once we establish what their goals are, we tour the facility to see the process in which materials flow through their plant and what waste streams they have at the very end. And then we can structure a plan according to what waste streams are exiting the building. I would say the most rewarding part of my job is turning on my problem solving skills. I don't look at sales as I'm trying to sell you something. I look at it more like I'm helping you solve a problem that you have. Rumpke has a wide variety of options to help you recycle your material. We have dumpsters, we have compactors, augers, we can provide balers, we can pick up in box trucks, and we can also pick up in tractor trailers. I would say one of the hardest parts of my job is education, especially when it comes to plastics both residentially and commercially. A lot of pe times people see that triangle and they see the number in there and they assume that that triangle means recycling. When in fact that number in that triangle means what type of material that plastic is made out of. To make it a reality, you gotta make it easy. There are county incentives that we can sometimes offer to customers to help offset the initial cost of the program or there's also grant money available. Again, education, education, education. Um, Another thing that we do is once I meet with usually the EHS representative at the company, we look and see what is the biggest commodity that they have, let's say cardboard, and we pull that out of the waste stream first and then we can build off of that. So some tips that we developed over the years to help companies start a re successful recycling program are place a recycling bin next to if not touching every garbage can. Kind of color coordinate your bins throughout the plant so it's a visual for your employees so when they see say gray they know that's a trash bin or blue or green they know that's a recycling bin. Use a restrictive opening on a recycling bin so it's not just an open bin. Place a flyer at eye level usually with pictures if pictures are easier to relate to than trying to read what can and can't be recycled. For the cleaning staff, we say use dark bags in your trash and clear bags in your recycling. This way they can come through with one swoop, collect all the material in their cart, and when they get out to the dock, they can take the dark bags, they know those go to the trash, and they can take the clear bags and empty those into the recycling bin. We also suggest that companies start up a green team. We can give them good ideas, but the, comp the employees at the company know how everything flows, so getting them involved usually helps make a successful program. So during the pandemic, the challenge was not the need for recycling, it was the way we conducted business. We went from face-to-face -face meetings, touring facilities, to teams meetings, to getting pictures of material rather than samples. Then when eventually we moved to outdoor meetings. Um, if I actually really needed a sample, a lot of companies would put it outside, I would come and pick it up so we were still social distancing. Another barrier that we have is uh, sometimes materials are hard to find a market for. Currently, we are working with a zoo. They were actually replacing all their trash and recycling bins throughout the park. So instead of throwing them away or trying to find a re recycling outlet since they're you know, kind of unusual, we actually went to a reuse program. We contacted Hamilton County and we contacted Building Value. Both are interested, so we kind of connected those two to reuse these instead of recycle them.